In this video, we're going to learn how to play Feeling All Right. We're going to take a look at the chords and the best fingerings and positionings for you so you can play this cleanly and easily. Hey everyone, Rod DeGeorge here, and welcome to my beginner guitar series. Easy guitar songs. Today, feeling all right. Their version is pretty much the guitar anyway, is just doing C to F. So it's like, they turned the volume up on their guitar though. <laughs> C to F, like. It's pretty much that way through the whole song, just those two chords, okay? Now, you can do some experimentation with that and do C7 to F7. Okay, that gives it more of a feel of Joe Cocker's version. Joe Cocker's version is mostly piano doing the main riff. And that's more of a seventh chord type thing. So if I'm doing it on guitar and I want that type of feel, I may even do this type of. Okay, that was just C7 to F7. All right. But for a beginner guitar song, this is great because we can just go from C to F. And right there, I'm doing the F with the C in the bass. It gives it a fuller sound. But you could also go. All right. Now, let's take a look at these movements here. Well, first, let's look at the strumming. This strumming that I'm doing will work well with it. It may not be exactly what they're doing on the guitar because after the first couple things, the first couple beats, I should say, everything jumps in and it's hard to hear. And plus, it doesn't do exactly the same thing all the way through. But if you approach it more like one, two, and a, and four, and a one, two, and a, and four, and a one, that'll give it that type of feel. And what I'm doing there is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. So I'm going to take that a little slower. One, two, and a, e, and four, and a one, two, and a, e, and four. Okay? Down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Again, when we're doing strumming, we want this arm and wrist to be moving continuously. We don't want to go and stop it like that. We want it to be flowing free. If you watch this video while I'm playing it without the sound, it'll look like I'm just going down and up. So what happens is down, 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 up, up, down, down. In between those two up strokes, down, 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 up, up, okay? When I go up, up, I'm still doing that down stroke in between. I'm just not hitting the strings. So down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. And the count for that, one, two, and a, e, and four, and a. So this is a sixteenth note feel. One e and a, two e and a. And sixteenth notes, we're breaking each beat up into four equal parts. One e and a. Can't do it like that. <laughs> one e and a. All right? So four equal parts. One e and a, two e and a. All right? One. Two and a, E and four and a. Okay, that may be tricky to count if you're not used to it, but that is the count. You may, in the beginning, want to try to feel it out with a down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. All right. And again, I'll play this. It's like. What I'm doing here is the F with the C in the bass. It's just like your regular F chord, but the third finger comes up here to play the C. Third finger, fifth fret, uh, third finger, third fret of the fifth string. Pinky, third fret of the fourth string. All right? It's just like that bar chord, okay, but we're not barring all six, we're just barring these two. Now, when we do it that way, the third finger doesn't have to move when we go from the C to the F. What you do notice 
is a little movement here with my wrist and elbow. And again, that movement comes before I actually put the fingers down. While I make that movement, it puts the fingers in a much better position. So the elbow is coming in when I play that F. And that makes it an easy, much easier change than trying to just move the fingers without moving the positioning of your wrist and elbow. So. There you go. That's pretty much the whole song all the way through. Those two chords will take you through the whole song and it should be good for you to play along with recording as long as you can make the changes in time. You may want to take a drum beat or a, a drum machine or a metronome at a slower tempo at first to get the changes down in time, but work your way up to record speed. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'd also like to let you know I do have a free lesson in the description below on how to switch chords quickly and easily. Just click the link and it's yours absolutely free. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when a new video is released. That being said, my name's Rod DeGeorge. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Be well. Peace.